Well, good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to, uh, I think it's episode number four number four of Twisties on the Triple <laughs> got some heat in the tyres, so nice and grippy although there's loads of shite on the road you never know what you're going to expect around the corner around the bend, do you? Yeah, just had the bike serviced the 500 mile or 600 mile service has just been done so that's all good, all good. I think I've done about seven, eight hundred mile now, something like that. So can open her up a little bit more. Lovely little route here today. I'll probably go as far as sun. It's one of my favourites. Got a bit of every, everything. Oh, <laughs> rain it in. <laughs> oh. This, <laughs> this bike does definitely take some beating. Definitely take some beating. <laughs> Not the warmest today's today. Well, at the moment, anyway, seven degrees are sewn on there. Seven degrees. problems with the overtake. Well, the old back wheel twitched a little bit then. Thought I had plenty of heat in the tyres but so it's not the warmest of days. Lovely little route this. Nice little uh, back road scratcher. Perfect for the uh, an episode of Twisties on the Triple. So I come out this way quite a lot, so I kind of know the roads and know the know the bed, know the corners and what have you. If you're new to the channel and you're just passing by, consider hitting that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Be much appreciated. Plenty more bike content coming. Plenty more bike content coming. Ooh. More test rides, hopefully. Let me know. Let me know what you want, want to see me take out and ride. I'm quite enjoying this at the moment. <laughs> the one thing you can rely on with this bike is the brakes. Excellent braking power. Oh. Love the sound of that exhaust as well. Oh. Gorgeous. Oh, mud on the road again. It's only thing out this way, you've got a lot of tractors coming off the fields, causing loads of uh, loads of mess, which is a bit of a hazard really, isn't it? Should be a law against it. I think there's a lot lot can be done, loads of shit in the road. Well, I'm going to turn around here, double back. Got this bike in sport mode, perfect for these little um, scratchy roads. Seem to be using the clutch, I don't know why. I think it's because I was out on the Rocket 3 GT the other day. No quick shifter and blibber on that, so that's a hell of a hell of a machine that. There is a review on the channel if you're interested. Hoping to take out the B triple, the new 1200 speed triple, when it's available. That'll be good, I'm looking forward to that, so stay tuned to the channel. I'll give you a review on the speed triple. What was I saying about tractors? 
one thing with these uh, Pirelli Super Corsa tyres as well, a lot of grip, a lot of grip. Not really had any scary moments, touch wood, or shouldn't really say that, but <laughs> really tempting fate. <laughs> one thing I like about coming around the twisties is that you can utilise a lot of the, you know, you ain't got to go crazy. And, uh, having a lot of fun as well. A lot of fun. Lovely scenery. Quite fortunate, quite fortunate to live out this way really. The sun's now starting to break through as well. Oh, it's just gone, oh, it's dropped down actually, six degrees. <laughs> Does feel a bit nippy. It's when you could do with the old heated grips as well. There's an extra. Oh. Bumpy old road this. Find it in a tad. Horsey. Yeah, nice to be out of lockdown as well. To be able to come out for pleasure. Quite nice that. I notice there's plenty of bikes now uh, out and about. Which is good, it's what you want. Oh, front wheel come up a little bit then. Yeah, this thing seems to spring at life. I mean, it's fairly linear with the power, but it does seem to spring at life when the revs get up. And, uh, oh, that old pheasant in the road there. Uh, don't want to squash him. So if you, haven't, if you haven't got yourself out to test ride one of these street triples, I would highly recommend doing it. If you haven't got one, it, that is. I must admit, since I've uh, had this machine, I haven't been out on the other one much. In fact, I went to take it out the other day and the battery was dead. So, that's saying something, isn't it? Oh, God. They're perfect, these roads. Anyway, I'd like to say, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell for all the latest uploads, and uh, hopefully see you on the next video. Take care. See ya.